There are 800 million people who go to bed hungry or malnourished on our planet right now, and we have to do something about that. Secondly, though, by the year 2050, there'll be 9 billion people and we'll need 70% more food production then than we have now. How are we going to get there? There are no fast fixes, silver bullets to the really tough challenges that we face. And that's certainly true for food security challenges. But I can tell you this, we have no chance of solving the challenge without the promise and potential of technology, what has been called by Klaus Schwab the fourth industrial revolution. And let me tell you why I find it so promising. So first and foremost in terms of mobile and digital platforms, we all know the power and potential of the mobile phone. What it means in terms of food security is incredible. First for consumers, you know, we're able to now to bring information to the poorest people, the most remote people, the people in the toughest places on how to breastfeed, on things like how to deal with Ebola without the potential of mobile technology, we would not have been able to deal with the Ebola health crisis and of course all of the challenges of food security that went along with that. So that's number one. Number two, you've got to be able to uplift smallholder farmers. There are 600 million of them. You're not going to be able to do it unless you apply technology in the most robust ways. And here we're seeing the combination of market, market information, technical information, and financial services all bundled together and reaching farmers in a way we've never seen before. It's a revolution. And then third, I think, is social media, the way it empowers people to get engaged, to build a better world. And that's certainly true in terms of food security. Second is the application of science. With new and improved seeds and varieties of seeds, we now have the promise of developing drought um, resistant um, seeds that are going to make a difference all over the world. For example, you take rice. How many people depend on rice as their staple? We're now able to make a low glycemic version of rice all throughout Asia because of improved seeds. So that's really promising. So I really feel that the fourth industrial revolution offers the promise and the potential to help us tackle some of the world's toughest challenges.